Hello and welcome to another episode of the Triax DIY series. Now today we are talking all things the yo-yo test. Now the yo-yo test has risen to prominence in applied sports science over the past decade or so. So Shawnee, as the strength and conditioning expert who loves the yo-yo test, do you want to give us a run through as to how we set it up? Yeah, so the yo-yo test is going to be pretty similar uh, to a beep test in that you have a 20 meter running zone. Um, so you start down one end, run 20 meters and try and get to the other end before the beep. Um, once that beep goes, you'll run back down to the other end. Um, but instead of just waiting there like you would in a beep test, you actually have what's called a recovery zone. So you'll hit that 20 meter cone and you're going to walk five meters and then walk back that other five meters, wait for the beep and then go again. Perfect. So Damo, in terms of the recovery zone, why is that more important for team sport athletes? Yeah, so the in intermittent nature of team sports is where we've got you know, uh, repeated running, but in between we'll have a rest. So if you think of the game of football, um, you know, there's stoppages, there's other moments where play stops in soccer, you know, you're going to go up and back and then there's going to be rest periods. You're not always attacking or defending. Um, and this is where the yo-yo replicates the needs of sports a little bit better than the beep test where it's just continuous running up and back. Um, the rest phase replicates the rest that you'd actually have in a game before repeating the sprint again. Yeah, absolutely. And then so the result from the yo-yo as well can then be used to program our maximal aerobic speed, which we have a video on that if you'd like to check that out. Because obviously the idea of doing the yo-yo itself is to boost our aerobic capacity. So today we're going to go through the yo-yo test with you in order to in order for you to set it up correctly. All right, Damo, so you can end this test at any time if you're feeling too tired or you feel like you can't make the beep. Otherwise, you will be eliminated if you don't make two beeps in a row. So it's really important that you, if you miss one, you try and make it back for the next one. If you do make it back, then you're good to go. Your fault reset. So it's only if you miss two in a row. If you miss one, make the next, you're good to go. The test begins in five seconds. So Damo's got to run down to that blue cone, made it on the beep, he's making his way back to the next blue, makes it before the beep, now he's going to walk down to the red cone, that's the recovery zone, nice and slow, Change makes it back nine. to the blue, and he gets ready for the next level. Nine. There's the beep, nine. off he goes. So as Damo goes through more reps, the speed at which he has to reach the end is actually going to get faster. So just there we saw Damo, he actually missed it on the first one, but because he made it back on the second beep, he's still in the test. 15-4. Right, so we saw there, Damo, he got two faults in a row, so now his test is over. Uh, he ended up with a score of 15.3, pretty good. We can now use that either for a baseline measure, so to see if he's improved for his next yo-yo test when we retest, or we can use it to prescribe his MAS training. Well, there you have it. There's another Triax DIY episode done and dusted. So today we covered the yo-yo test sure to check out all our social media profiles for our next video. Thanks very much.